Hey y'all, JP here, and today I'm playing The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past for the Super Nintendo. Currently, I'm being bombed and shot at, so I should probably get to a safe place. Anyway, let's begin the game. <laughs> oh, okay, move it. Uh, there we go. I was trying to say ta-da, but I already got tongue-tied and I'm only like five seconds in. Now, before we do anything else, I have some extra rupees, so I'm probably going to upgrade uh, Link's ammo capacity real quick. So, see you soon. And we have gotten more weapons. Er, ammo. Anyway, let's begin the uh, dungeon. Now, fun fact, getting this dungeon from the light world is super easy because as long as you go to the, uh, I think it's the wishing well or whatever, and you can just immediately end up here. However, I think this is the only way you can actually get here. Like, you can't get into the dungeon from the dark world. Or, outside the dark world. Now, fun fact of this dungeon, if you can't tell, it's ice themed. So here's these guys who kind of suck. Hey, man. Luckily, they are weak to fire. Link, the magic flames will protect you inside this icy dungeon. Yeah, okay. Can I pull anything here? No? No? Okay. So yeah, the majority of this uh, dungeon, I think, is mostly filled with ice monsters and penguins. Oh, that was easy. Key. Hi. Come on. Kind of looks like a... Doesn't it look like a dance floor from like a disco whatever? I'm too young to actually have seen one, but that's what they look like on the telly. Bye-bye. Well, that's actually very good color coordination. Blue and green. Makes it feel cold. That's an art thing. <laughs> A very simple art thing, honestly. Move it. Hey, elderly penguins. With teeth. You horrible abominations against nature. Die! I hold the... Actually, it's no longer the Master Sword. I hold the Tempered Sword. I guess that's what it'd be called. And... Compass! You found the compass. Now you can pinpoint the lair... of the dungeon's evil. Oh, Evil Master. Okay. Actually, uh... This button. I don't know why, I always get those two confused. Now, fun fact with this dungeon, it goes down very, very, very far. <laughs> like, up here, we already saw that part, but then you have the basement floor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that can make it a bit of a pain to navigate. Because with the other one, it gives you a pretty good general idea of, okay, this is where I'm supposed to be, or this is where I'm supposed to go on the map. But on this one, it's just kind of, screw it, we'll figure it out when we figure it out. Move it. Hey guys. Bring it, you elderly demon penguins. Techno color penguins don't scare me. I've seen club penguin. Um, magic powder, that's it. Come on, buddy. Oh, really, buddy? I shall defeat you. Oh, I actually beat him? Dang, usually I get hit a couple times. Oh, oh no. And I'm a bunny. Well, like the Energizer Bunny, I do not stop. My determination is unending. Can't go that way. Okay, let's go the other way, then. I hope I don't get lost. <laughs> I'm probably not going to, hopefully. But it'd be kind of embarrassing. Honestly, the only thing that'll probably give me trouble is the, uh, blocks. 
I'm terrible at remembering what ones I'll need. Ow! You son of a... Mine. You son of mine, yes, he's my child. Link has many dark secrets. Inc including the fact that he actually has a secret family. Don't tell Zelda. Actually, I don't know if this is one of the worlds where Zelda is romantically interested in Link. I would assume so because this is one of those like 90s games and the princess always is romantically interested in you. Or else you wouldn't be rescuing her. Either that or you're rescuing her for cake. Which fair enough, cake is awesome. Ta-da! Yeah. That's the only way to kill those big skeleton guys, I think. You just have to hit them and then blow them up. They have a bit of a dry bone kind of thing going on, like in Super Mario World, where if you hit them, they just get back up after a little while, so you have to blow them up. And here's either Zelda or Sahasrala telling us that you cannot destroy the skeleton knight with the sword alone. When he collapses, he is vulnerable to another weapon. But apparently it's too much effort for him to tell you what weapon that is. I wonder. No? Okay. Oh, this BS. Oh, ow. Ow. Bring it on, shadow holes. Take that. They, you know what they kind of look like? They kind of look like those little ghosts from uh, Danny Phantom. What was that? <laughs> I remember seeing it as a kid. And it was like my favorite show back then because it was like action and adventure and punching shit. <laughs> okay, move it. How did I lose so much health? Man, oh, son of a. Bring it on, oh, shadow beast. I don't know, it's made of shadows, it has red eyes. Reminds me of Danny Phantom, screw it, it's Spectra. No, better yet, we'll call it Penelope. <laughs> Okay, ow, ow, son of a... While we're here... Take that, fire! <laughs> oh no, I feel like I am being watched. I thought that was in the original Legend of Zelda. I think they were. They were like in the very first dungeon, weren't they? They didn't pop up out of the ground though, they just kind of went at you. And more penguins, wonderful. Bring it. I'm gonna hook shot your face in. Take this, you teeth having monstrosity. Okay, there we go. This honestly isn't as bad as I remember. Maybe there's just one part that tricks me a lot, I don't know. Take that, you whatever you are. What is that thing? Uh, I don't think this actually... I think this is just a way to fall down a floor. So, let's just... I have to... Uh, I had to hit a button, didn't I? Well, I guess this is the way we're going. Ow! Wow, well, that's just unfair. And that was also, well, that, I, I won't call it unfair, but it was not fun. Link, do not use all of your magic power if you do not possess the medicine of magic. Now get ready to go into the depths of this dungeon. I've been depthing all these dungeons. This isn't the first dungeon I've depthed. Wait a minute. How are you casting shadows on a bottomless pit? with which no light enters. I call flaws in your magical world. And still, what are these? Are they sentient sea urchins? I mean, we have to be underwater by now. 
Okay, um, die. Please die. Why won't you die? Haha, -ha, there we go. Oh, uh, okay. Button. Haha. -ha. Ta da! Okay. Well, that was, uh. Well, I'm back where I started. Oh, and that thing popped back up so I can. do this. Go! I don't know if that actually opens. Uh, I guess not. Oh, but this takes me somewhere important, and there's this guy. Bring it, Skeletonite, or Skeletonite, or whatever you are. See ya. Uh, magic hammer. Still think it should be called a mallet. Ta da! What happens if I get hit by it? Huh. I've always wondered what would happen if I got hit by that while holding something. I guess you don't change back until you throw it then. I don't know if he'd like crush Link or something, or he'd automatically throw it. Oh no. Ah, oh, that, uh, works. Haha! My ingenuity saved the day. Oh, and there's a thing. That's the one we pulled the tongue of. Yay, a map! Okay. Okay, so there's just that one left on that so-and-so, whatchamacallit. Honestly, this still isn't nearly as bad as I was thinking it is. I mean, we still got like a couple of floors left, so... Maybe not count all our chickens before they, uh, hatch. Hey, that also worked. I didn't know that would, actually. That was purely speculation. Is this a, uh, thing of importance? Big key, yes it is, awesome. Thank you, I need that. And I could use an ancient magic fairy thing. Ah, screw you, fairy. Okay. Ow, ah, ah. Stupid invincibility. Or lack of sort. <sighs> I hate all you. All of you. Bring it on. There we go. I really do need to get a, uh... Oh, I forgot that was there. I really do need to upgrade my tunic. I think I upgrade it literally in this dungeon. Which I probably should have got to first. And which I usually do go to first, but honestly I wanted to do them in order for the Let's Play. <laughs> Which is probably why I'm so used to them not hitting like a truck. What? I didn't even touch him. Wait, why are you beeping? Seriously? Are you seriously gonna beep right now? Oh, lovely. I used to only have three hearts. I wasn't dying then. Let's see if one of them will give me a heart. If not, I'll just use one of my, uh, fairies. Really? Come on. Prick. Ah, screw you. Okay. There we go. Whose idea was it to put an annoying noise whenever you're dying? Because that's not what you want to be thinking of. It's like you're fighting Ganon or something, and then it's just, WHAT IS THIS HORRIBLE RACKET?! Um, do I have to beat the, these guys up again to do it? I mean, it's not hard, they're not the most difficult of enemies. Is it just me, or do they have odd, uh, drops? Because this... Because that's a bit of a weird number of bombs. It's like one bomb, eight bombs, five bombs, three bombs. I don't know. Oh, this is gonna be lovely. And there's Penelope. Hmm. 
which one of these would be most likely to help me? Magic cape? Okay, let's go, baby. And we're done. And that's still down, so that's good. I don't know why, but I really like the magic cape. Even more than the, uh... I don't know why. I think the idea of invisibility is just cool. <laughs> as a thing in a game. Or maybe it's because it's the first defensive item I got that wasn't a shield. How many defensive items are there? I know there's the, uh... There's really only the Cane of Burnia and the Magic Cape. And they pretty much do the same thing in making you invulnerable, don't they? Except one attacks enemies, the other just avoids them. Huh. I don't know. I still prefer the cape. It's just a personal favorite. Okay. Question, what's the difference between a rod and a staff? Because there's like all the rods and there's all those staffs and whatnot, but they kind of look the same. The only difference I can tell is the whatever's topping it. Ow. I will live, dang it. I enslaved too many fairies to die. I am the undying now, baby. Okay, let's go this way. We're not going up there again. I mean, we got some of the stuff we need, but we're not going back up there. Let's go. It just looks like Link is absolutely losing his mind on the ice. <laughs> just shaking. Oh no. Ow. Oh no. Oh, lovely. Oh, super lovely. Hmm. I wonder if I can just survive this long enough to... Screw you. You terrible monster, I hate you so much. Okay. There we go. Ta-da! Now we're not gonna get the crap kicked out of us so much. You found the blue mail. This armor reduces the damage that you take from enemies. I mean, I know green is kind of a classic color on Link, but we really did need to upgrade. Over here, if I've been. Well, I mean, I already got the big key and all that, so everything else is pretty much optional, right? Ooh, I need one of you. Well, that was a lovely, uh. Ooh, key. And a Penelope. See that? <laughs> it's a bunch of Penelopes. Ow. Okay, and now it is the last Penelope. I shall leave you so you tell my tale of terror. I lied. <laughs> oh no, move, 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 move. I said move. Oh, and this is gonna be wonderful, isn't it? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's move it, you son of a gun. Okay, go. Hey, that worked. This just... Okay. What happens if I hit these guys? Nothing? I might just be missing, but I don't want to... I really don't care enough to waste more magical ability on them. Hey, key. I got three. I got three key. <laughs> Which sounds like it should be the name of something. I don't know what. Probably a company. Oh, and that's a thing. No, and I'm the Energizer Bunny. Lovely. Perfect timing. I'm gonna act like I planned that, even though I clearly didn't. Bye. Ow. And here we are. Eh. Okay. 
Okay, there he goes. Ow. Ah, I was a little too close, wasn't I? At least I have the blue thing to lower damage now. Okay, let's go this way. This way. Now, I think we have to knock the, uh... I think we have to go up there. And then we have to... Change the blocks or whatever. Ow. Ow. I'm just gonna power through it, baby. I got new armor. Might as well test it. Hey, buddy. You came at the perfect timing. I didn't want to absorb you, but... Okay, that works. Okay, and there we go. I really love the dungeons in, in this game. I really do. Because even with, like, limited assets or whatever, because you'll notice they kind of change the color of a lot of them. Or a lot of them are similar sprites or tiles or whatever. They still all feel different. Oh, that's not working. What's over here? Ooh, a thing. Oh, a thing. Now, what's this? Hmm, it appears to be, uh, a pit stop area, I guess. Okay, let's go up. Hey, buddy, you respawn, don't you? You respawn, don't you? Which means I can, uh... Got ya. Uh... I'll get one more on my way, uh, down. But first things first. Be gone, foul beast! Now all they're left is the children? Is that what those are? Bye. Hmm. There we go. I knew one of them had to move. It'd be pretty lame if only the one on the uh, left moved. Oh, it is lame. Okay, let's try this again. I had to come down here anyway. Ow. Okay, fair enough. Ah. Why can't I hit him? I can't hit the broad side of a fairy. Or an anti-fairy. Which should be blue. Bye, Skeleton Knight. Okay, so we go around this way, I assume. That's what this is for. Oh, I already have it. Oh, and the room has repopulated with Penelope's. Ah, so close. You are terrible. Okay. Ow. Ah, move it. I think there's hearts in there, but I don't really care enough. And I'm gonna get hurt if I stay over here, aren't I? Let's try again. Okay. Speaking of Penelope's, is it just me or... And this is really only if you watched Danny Phantom as a kid. Is it just me or is she terrifying? Like all, there are like some ghosts or something that were pretty normal. As far as ghosts go, I guess. Like the lunch go the lunch lady or Ember and all that. Sending point dexter, that's pretty common fare. And then you had like just this one like normal human looking ghost that pretty much I guess talked people into depression. And that was her power? I don't even know if she was a ghost. She She was just really, really scary or creepy when I was a kid. Like, all the other ones were pretty cartoony, villain-looking, I guess. I don't know why. She just... She was the one that scared me. <laughs> Everyone has one. 
My cousin's most terrified ghost. <laughs> or the ghost that most terrified my cousin was the box ghost. Beware! <laughs> okay, move it. Fall. Okay. I don't know if these two, uh... <laughs> In hindsight, I don't know if these two franchises mix, mix too often. Uh, Legend of Zelda came out in 1990-something. I think Danny Phantom came out around 2007? Maybe? Or 4? I don't know. Somewhere around the 2000s. Ow, you son of a... And that's a thing. Lovely. You're all terrible and I hate you. So yeah, that's probably like a, uh, I don't know, 10 something year difference. Oh, and I can't hit these. Wonderful. And he won't back, though. Why won't you back? Oh. Oh, I hate that guy. There we go. You can leave. And so can you. I didn't even have to kill him at that point. It was just for uh, my own pleasure. Now this wasn't nearly as hard to navigate as I thought it would be. I don't know what I was messing. Maybe I was just dumber as a kid. That seems about right. Okay, and are you gonna electrify? No. Oh, ow. Ow! It was lies! I don't think there's anything too important over there. Over here, however, there are things. This one moves, I think. I say as I move it. Just... Could you imagine? It's like, hey guys, I think I can lift this box or something and someone's already holding it. It's like, yeah, I think you can. No? Okay. Ta-da! There's the hole. Yeah, this uh, boss fight doesn't have a door. Now, there's a fun little trick you can do with this boss fight if you have enough magical power, which is why I suggest before doing this, go to that little bat dude in the fountain. And that is, this boss has like a icy prison surrounding him. The bombos is fire related. Ta da! Oh no. Okay. I shall fight ice with fire. That saying doesn't work as well, but you know, close enough. Okay. Ah, ah, I have a uh, thing. Oh, I got two and one. Wonderful. I didn't even have to waste a potion or a uh, fairy. Okay. Ta da! I am the greatest to ever live. I say because I beat a boss in a children's game. <laughs> I have low standards, don't I? On the bright side, we rescued a maiden. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monster. Thank you. They say the Hyla people controlled mysterious powers, as did the seven wise men. But the blood of the Hyla has become thin over time. He who carry the blood of the seven... Oh, we who cover the... Carry the blood of the seven. That, uh... Could have gone dark real quick. It's like, don't worry, I have these old guys' blood. <laughs> we who carry the blood of the seven wise men do not possess strong power anymore. Either. Our powers will increase if we mix the courage of the knight... Or, the courage of the knights with the wisdom of the wise men. You couldn't find any other adjective... The wisdom of the wise men you couldn't say like the foresight of the wise men, the experience of the wise men. Seems kind of redundant, doesn't it? I mean, wise men are of course wise. Anyway, I'm probably getting off track here, so let's end this up or finish this up. 
Only a short time remains until the gates at the castle linking the world open completely. If you defeat Ganon, this world will vanish, and the Triforce will wait for a new holder. I believe in you. Good luck. Do you understand? Not in the slightest. I was rambling. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Yay! And that was the Ice Dungeon. We only have, uh... Two more before we can fight Ganon. So this feels like a good place to, uh... I guess finish off. We talked about a TV show that came out 10 years after this, and we fought a cloud in a ice cube. I don't get the science behind that either. Anyway, if you like the video, feel free to subscribe. Any comments, concerns, or criticisms, leave them down below. Have a wonderful day. Oh, fuck, they're gonna bomb me. <laughs>